What's up, passengers? This is your Captain Rafa Kapti. I know this flight. We're gonna, let's just say, a live commentary about the loose cannon. Now, I kinda hate doing uh, live commentaries explaining about the gameplay of certain weapons. It's because that I, it's really hard to actually talk about anything, really. I don't have that, s that feeling. Wanna get up? Yes, got up. I could get some heads. Excuse me. But by the way, guys. Um, the loadout is the loose cannon, obviously. Then we got the Islander. Actually, the um, my golf club. In other words, the Nessie's iron. Iron. Whatever's. Oh, I forgot I'm in blue. Shit. That guy does not realize I'm behind him. I came first. Scoot. Okay, sorry. See, this is kind of why I don't really like playing like this. But just to tell you, the Lewis Cannon was a very, very recent weapon added into Team Fortress 2. In the uh, mecha update, a spade. Die. Uh, and uh, it has um, the ability to knock back enemies when the cannonball hits them instead of, uh, direct instead of directly blowing up on their faces. And uh, it has this kind of charge thing, which allows you to time the uh, bullets, the, I mean, the bomb's explosion, detonation, in other words. Now, it's all cool and all, and everybody has been trying it, but <coughs> the early version, <coughs> the early version of the weapon wasn't very good. It had like a two-second fuse, which was quite long for a bomb. Which, I'm okay. No, no. But then the loose cannon got buffed. Two buffs were added to the loose cannon. I mean, I'm just explain a little bit of trivia for you guys. And that is that the loose cannon now has a one second fuse time. Much shorter than if like initially you just fire the weapon without charging it. It will detonate in one second after leaving your barrel. Then, the next buff is that you got this special ability that no other weapons ca have. And it's pretty much came from the fact that people have been disco discovered that the way to, do, to deal damage with the loose cannon is to time the charge, your detonation on that bomb, alongside the knockback to do double damage. Then Valve realized this strategy and they implemented it as a real effect and it's called the double donk. So what happens is you charge your loose cannon properly, you strike the bomb onto the enemy's face, knocking them back, and then in half a half, literally let's just say half a second, it blows up in their, uh, at their face. I said a lot of faces, yeah, your face, your face. But then when they blow up, they um, give this mini crit effect. The explosion damage has this mini crit effect. The detonation damage has a mini crit effect. And that's called the double donk. Now, it is quite difficult to actually get a double donk. I must say. It requires aim and timing since a uh, double donk requires you to actually hit an enemy. But um, the knockback weapons generally have a larger uh, hitbox. So I guess it's slightly easier than hitting them with a grenade, I suppose. But, um, the next problem is that how are- how are we supposed to use this in real battles? Well, I kind of find it like on a defensive kind of position. I don't really like to do it on offense. But I also- oh great, I could join Rin. But I also think it's best alongside the Demo Knight effect. Because you could easily hit people with it. You get to knock them away from you if they get too close. And yes, I am a traitor. I don't really care, but it's me. So uh, let's just see how it goes. Okay, let's uh, uh, let's actually do something here. So I got, like I said, the golf club. Charge on that sniper. Mm, didn't quite reach. Come up, scout. You don't want to come up. I don't understand. Scouts tend to like want to come up. He saw me. Everybody saw me! Okay, um, tips and tricks. 
Well, let's just see. Uh, we've got um, time. Well, I could. I guess you could say that using the um, uh, up to half of the meter. Hi, spy. Uh, the half the meter is around like mid range for the sticky dog. That. <sighs> like when you think everybody is going to be okay, we got an unusual guy, but he uses a freaking grenade launcher. Oh yeah, don't charge your gr your uh, loose cannon too much. Because if you charge your loose cannon too much, it'll end up like uh, kaboom in your face. Sticky trap. Goodbye. I'm gonna like set this sticky trap right over here because people always walk up here. Head scout. Not a good spot. <laughs> Let's go with this. What? What? Come up here, scout. I wish he's gonna come up this way, isn't he? Well, I don't want to. Well, I don't want to do anything with him. The cannonballs. Hi. How's he going? Oh, get headshotted. Like freaking getting headshotted. We oh, blew up. Shpee. No, it's not. Bombs away. Like, use your sticky bombs. For once in your lifetime, just use your sticky bombs. <laughs> oh, I love that. Walk over here. Like, please. Get blown up. Uh. Oh, wait. This is like a grenade launcher. I mean, sticky bomb launcher. It's not what we we're going to showcase. But seriously, guys. You, uh, you don't uh, know how much fun it is to do this kind of stuff. Bombs away! Bombs away! Oh, that scout. It's starting to become like a, a trolling video where nobody could come up here. Somebody's coming up! Somebody's coming up! Get him here! Get him here! Get him here! Get him here! There's like a bunch of enemies gonna come here that crit sticky's gonna blow them up. Well, I don't care about that spy. They have to handle them themselves. I'm sorry, but I'm not a spy. That There's a guy that went right there. Actually, I see him. Here's a cool thing you could do with the lock and load. I'm at the loose cannon. Oh, I seriously thought he was a spy. I seriously thought he was a spy. No, no I meant a sniper. Like, seriously. He looks like it. Oh, I wanna, I wanna go sign his face. Now let's get back to more of this kind of gameplay. Well, I saw a, um, an engineer. Let's hope he didn't see me. Oh, you wanna fight? Yeah. Come back here, you. That's another thing about the Islander or other kind of sword weapons. Their reach is really long. And keep that in mind. Beware. If you actually are fighting against some guy that has an Islander. Melee weapon, in other words. Okay, let's just ra range around here. Because that's what we have to do. See, it's got slightly knocked back. Got his head! Well, I'm not coming anywhere close to that demo man. He's a maniac. No one get close to my sentry. Actually, I have to get some health first. <laughs> Is that the spy I felt before? Where's that guy who actually shot like a uh, loose cannon, cannonballs? Ooh. That was nasty. Oh, that was that was my own shot. 
See, that's a that's a sign. If you charge your loose cannon too much, you will you will actually uh, get uh, blown up. There you go. Well, that's where he landed, right next to my health pack. He took my health pack. Oh, never mind. It came back. Yay! Oh, this guy wants to fight. Let's fight. How much health has he got? Well, at least less than mine. So that's all. That's all I know. Five heads and counting. Hi, Shpi! This is every every time. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. I'm trying to tell you about how the loose cannon works, and all it became is like an Islander one. I wish I won. I was going to truck him, but never mind. I'll just knock his head off right off. Oh, here's a good gameplay. Look, watch. Never mind. Never mind. The Uber's done. Because you could actually. Because you could actually. Um, what should I say? Knock away Ubers with a loose cannon, but the Uber's done by the time I actually wanted to finish. Speed. Speed. Again, you could, like, uh, cannon jump. That is what this weapon's made for. Cannon jumping. Uh, that engineer's gonna cause a pain in my, uh, in our system. Well, he got... Woohoo! Once you get more than five... Once you get more than five, four heads... Your shield, your charge in charge, does immense damage. Actually, it could kill uh, most classes in one blow. But again, the random randomization of the uh, class. Keep that in mind. Of them I in the weapon, the class, the class indeed. Ow! I really would love to show you how this actually double dunk somebody. Let's just try and get a double dunk on somebody. You should do that. How did I miss on that guy? Well, I killed somebody like- Oh, it's Innovator! Suck my cannonballs! Get your head knocked right off! Hmm. Feeling pumped right now since I'm a shining demo man. Let's go get- let's go find somebody. Why it's not good to be here. Especially when there are pyros around. I need a double dunk! Eh. This giant health pack's always there for me. Well, I'm starting to kill people with the lock and load, but uh, I haven't got a double dunk. A single double dunk. We need a double dunk. Oh, that did not kill him. Why didn't that kill him? I always type in spy instead of incoming. Well, he took my health back. Okay. He's coming up. Is he coming out? Oh, David. Pyro, what are you doing? Get the double dunk on that Pyro. No, we didn't get a double dunk. Double dunk. Yes. There you go, guys. Hope this has been entertaining. Like if you did, see you guys later. Ta-ta for now. Au revoir.